Hello Power Apps users. This video will discuss the dependent dropdown with the default value and reset. You may see a lot of videos and blogs for a dependent dropdown, but still I see users having an issue with the default value and reset when working with a form. In this example, we will discuss the essential pieces that work together. For this, I have a two SharePoint list. So one is a laboratories, which is a master list having all mapping, which is region, country, state, and lab name. Country relies on region, right? And then state relies on country, and the lab name depends on state. So the second one is to store the actual record or the data. Okay, so now let us run the application and then to see all the components. Props here, just enter it. So this is the initial screen, it's a regular uh, gallery and then with, you know, displaying all the list. And then when you're selecting the list, it's going to display the previously selected value, right? A simple form and then it has all the um, controls. Here I'm using a combo box. Um, the reason is um, today I'm using a combo box with a single selection, but eventually will change for a multiple selection. So in that case, we needed a combo box. Okay, so now when you save the data, say for example, when you say change to North America, right? So all the controls will reset it, select the country, Canada, then state Quebec, and then you can see, you know, all the lab names here. We need to change something, right? So you selected currently, you selected a North America, country is Canada. Now we just change to South America, everything will reset, right? So rest of them will reset. So for example, here I'm selecting Argentina, and then I'm selecting the state and uh, lab name. If I'm re changing country, then we'll reset state and lab name, all right? And then the regular um, controls, we are going to take a look at it one by one. So we'll select something. So supplier nodes, to save. Okay, you can be able to see that oh, wait, it's updated, right? Okay, so now um, take a look at the second one, same thing. And then for a newer one, it, everything is empty, right? Okay, so now we'll take a look at it, um, the all those small pieces, what are the things we've done it here. Okay, let me close here. Take a look at it, simple. No, I made it for just for entry screen. And then this is a list screen, just lists using a gallery. We are just list displaying all the list. And then the third one is the edit screen, right? So here, as I mentioned, I'm using a combo box. Select the combo box, right? So select the combo box. I'm using this is a region. So in this combo box, we have a four important properties. One is a items property, which is what needs to display on the combo box. And then second parameter is default selected items, which is what to display when it comes to new record or when it comes to edit record obviously right? obviously when it comes to edit record it needs to display the previous value and the third property is on change event okay so on change event so it means when we change the region it needs to clear a country state and a lab name right so this all three comma box or data it depends on the region so we have to clear all of them okay and the fourth property is called a reset. So in this combo, there's the first combo box or data, which does not have any depends on any of the previous controls. So this control we are not using uh, much here, but when you're going to see that same reset control in other check boxes or other, sorry, other combo boxes we are using here. So reset control, we are using a variable. Okay, why we are using a variable here, right? So when you change 
region when you on change event if you noticed on change event we are setting up uh, one variable called reset country true and false okay and then the same token we are saying that the default country to blank on here so whenever you change something on a region it needs to be uh, emptied of all country state and lab name or all of them right and then uh, when you change country it needs to change state and a lab name right okay like vice versa along this four properties on this combo box we are going to use a two more very important area which is on the list screen okay one is this gallery on select event when you notice here is we are storing that you know we are using a global variable default country state lab name we are using that one and uh, now we are to say that in edit mode edit form when it's come to edit mode right? when you're selecting the item from the gallery and then when you select the new item from uh, no, from the gallery it means from the previous screen so it uh, all the control needs to be set it up blank okay so that's the reason we are using in you know, a two more properties one is a you know, gallery on select event make sure we are selecting uh, the data is selected from the previously uh, saved item and for a new it your uh, it, it will be blank all the controls region is not depends on anything so we are not we are directly we are using a lookup here so uh, other than two properties here on the edit screen we are using uh, other other four parameters which i mentioned is item property so if you take a look at it uh, item properties of country right so it should be match uh, the region one so go to items property which is we are taking distinct value of uh, you know selecting a country and we are selecting the region equal to region combo okay so and then here if you see it we are using in a collection so since this uh, list is not going to change very frequently um, and then you no know, so that it's it's good to have a collection so you can stop hitting in every calls you know every control you're going to make a hit uh, to the data collection data store so it's good to have a collection here right as long as the data is not frequently changing it's a master list generally so master list won't change frequently so when you take a look at it, the uh, uh, SharePoint list, right? So when you sh SharePoint list region have a mini region. That's why we are using a distinct so that it to display only the you know, two items part of this data, right? North America and South America. And then countries, everything should be uniquely display you know, on the combo box. And then another list is normally we are storing the data when you save the data, okay? So, um, so we are seeing that items property on a country right so it depends on a region second one default selected items this one is we are using a variable right because we are whenever you change the region it needs to be reset it up so on change event on the region we are setting up that control to empty here right it's empty here that's the reason and uh, uh, another property is on change event right on change event again we are saying that one when you change something on a country state and lab name need to be resetted okay we are using that's why we are using um, no here on change event the fourth property is reset so we again we are saying that reset country because whenever you change on a region we are setting up the variable reset to country true and then the default value okay so uh, in general it it works uh, no, normally when you put them in a control outside everything it works fine and then i see on change event uh, users needs to uh, say that an on change event they will say uh, reset control say for example uh, reset uh, reset control name um, country um, country combo okay so they will some of them they may try this one okay this works as long as you ha don't have a default value but when it comes to form you always have a default value right when it comes to edit right so when it comes to edit you have a default value so this reset is not going to work you know uh, anymore with that default data so and then sometime then i see it hey i'm changing the region it's not a resetting okay this is the two property to reset it and then basically you are saying that uh, no resetting to country 
the variable to true and then make sure you make it false otherwise it works only one time second time it would work because it's already true right it's already true you are not going to change it it's a true to true so you are making uh, now uh, false right away whenever you say true this is because this variable it's binder to reset control right reset control it, it resets right away okay so for example we'll take a look at it how that exactly works here right so south america and chile right so we'll change north america everything reset it and then now um, control resets um, now one everything all of them the country state and everything so change here right it works nice enough and you can say change the state right it changes right away so and then you can save the data the change just watch right ah. change to lit okay so i'm gonna save this one so obviously it save right okay now you change something and then so you can able to see that default data also right so important thing is sometimes you may see the data is there but when you to make sure it's really it's selected and then when it comes to you know click on the arrow it should be the color you selected it in this case it's a blue color right so sometimes they may say hey it's it shows that it's select no uh, it's pointing that one but it's not selected so uh, it's not there when i'm going to save it so make sure it's uh, now the color you selected it should be there and then that's a default data it comes in the same token now you change something and then lab name changes um, I hope uh, you understand now how the dependent upturn works with a default value and a reset. Um, if any question, please command us um, on this blog, um, on this video. Thank you so much. Bye.